See, pretty good. Morning, folks. Uh, well, we're gonna climb up a 115 foot leg this morning, so that's a great way to start today. But nothing's gonna get done until that happens. So let's go up there and get it over with. Put on the two new leg belts, that way we can uh, finish unloading all the trucks from last night. Uh, Dad ended up finding a couple belts last night about 9.30 or so. It's too late to put those on. We'll get them on, dump the trucks, hopefully we can uh, finish or at least put a pretty big dent in that field that we were running yesterday. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully our luck changes and we can do more than 50 acres in a day without breaking something. That remains to be seen. Just to reiterate what happened yesterday, I don't know if I explained it well after all this went down, but uh, yesterday I was dumping a truck and I noticed the leg was starting to back up. There's corn bubbling out of the uh, bottom of it, out of all the shields and stuff. So I turned everything down and the leg was plugged up. It wasn't spinning anymore. The belts were smoking. So I don't know what, uh, what caused that. I don't know if when I get up there, maybe something's plugged or if the belts were just loose and slipped, I don't know. But uh, this morning we gotta go up there and check that and put new belts on it. It still runs after I cleaned some of the corn out of it. It did start and turn, but I'm sure those belts are done for. And I don't want to clean that pit out again. It's just no fun. So that's what uh, we gotta go do this morning. Smells like burnt rubber. All right. Yeah, got the shield off there. As you can see, these belts are toast. And there's the pieces of them. Bad news is, Dad forgot there was three belts. We only got two. So now we gotta go get another one. industries belts the blue box okay well we're back up here for the second time today hopefully we got the right belts this time Let's see if it works need some more tools and a couple other things and dad's gonna send up a grease gun but use that rope so I can climb back down there and carry all that stuff up here Great getting up here and finding a wasp nest. Lots of places to go, lots of ways to get away from too. Well, we got that done. Now let's see if we can get out of here without getting stung by a bunch of wasps. Here it goes. She's running. Well, for now, everything appears to be running okay here at the grain leg, so that's good. Dad just left in the combine, so hopefully some trucks will start rolling in with uh, fresh corn. Well, my dryer's dumping. 
I'm going to get a sample so we can make sure we're uh, right where we need to be on the uh, moisture. Fifteen point seven, that's right where I want to be. That'll work. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the combine, it's sitting there, looks like it's loaded, he's waiting on the truck. He's uh in these, these big fields, there's uh, there's just no way we're gonna be able to keep up, even with uh, a couple people driving. It's just ain't gonna happen. this truck I've got uh, what we did yesterday that video uploading just wanted to thank everybody for uh, watching the channel a couple days ago we uh, broke a thousand subscribers that's, uh, that's pretty awesome wasn't expecting this much support and uh, I guess this many people interested in what we do uh, it's pretty uh, pretty awesome so thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we're keeping you guys entertained hopefully you guys are learning something maybe I don't know but uh, uh, yeah, just, thanks in that truck. Let's see what kind of snacks Dad has we can take. Yeah. That'll work.
The other day someone asked me what I thought of sea consultants hybrids. Well, uh, we've planted sea consultants for several years. I'm not paid by sea consultants. I don't sell sea consultants. And we plant other uh, other brands of seed besides sea consultants. But that being said, uh, as far as value, I think they're uh, one of the best. Uh, this sea corn is uh, quite a bit cheaper than uh, some of the competitors at this field. Uh, this is Sea Consultants 1087 HRY. This field was hit with a heavy windstorm July 1st, and uh, I was really worried that uh, the yield would be a little bit more effective, but uh, I mean, I'm sure it is effective. There's uh, stocks missing every so often. You'll see them when they've been knocked over a long time ago. But this field's still running 223 to 2, 230. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a great company. come to an end dad must have realized it's kind of hot outside and none of the trucks have a functioning air conditioner like I said earlier uh, thanks everybody for the support one thing I wasn't expecting whenever I started doing uh, farm vlogging videos was the opportunity to talk to people from all over the world whenever we go to a farm show like we always go to the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville Kentucky it's always fun and interesting to sit down at the in the cafe in the lunch area and always sit with someone you don't know, talk to them, see how they how their operation works. But well, now I get the opportunity to do that from farmers all over the world, and that's uh, it's really cool, and I'm really enjoying that part of it. That's just something I wasn't expecting whenever I started the channel. Probably better check the uh, bin level. This, this bin isn't actually a holding bin. There is no fancy light. You just climb up it, and smack it with your hand. About where she's at. About a ring and a half from the top. Now, like I said, we're gonna finish dumping these trucks here. We got three trucks to dump, and uh, while the trucks are dumping, like me and Dad are gonna switch everything over to try to do some soybean. I don't know how serious that's gonna get. Uh, a 20 acre field here right by the bins. Probably try to do it tonight. I don't know if we even get that far. Like I said, this really wasn't the plan today. Uh, I think it's just more or less we're out of wet space for corn, so there's still some daylight left. It's supposed to rain most of the next week, so we'll try to get something done while the sun's shining. Whenever uh, we were testing out the Challenger and uh, going over it, put my uh, climate field view puck in that tractor, so now I got to run home and get it. And then when I get back, we should be ready to try some beans. Did you miss me? It's okay. I know. We'll be together again. Here we go. We're about to try. Didn't figure we would do much beans today. Uh, like I said, this was more just to uh, find out uh, what the moisture was, and make sure my combine, everything on it was going to run right. We only did a couple acres, so nothing very serious. But uh, beans are dry; they're 13 percent. Uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow night, and uh, I think we're just going to shell some more corn tomorrow unless something changes, just because. Uh, Usually after a rain we do corn first just because of moisture reasons, so no sense in changing dad's combine over to do beans. So uh, probably, that'll probably be it for the beans for now, but they are ready just as soon as we get the weather and the chance to do them we will be hot and heavy in the soybean harvest. Finish putting these lights out in the holding bin, that way it dry our run all night. And that'll probably be uh, it for today. Uh, uh, we won't be able to dump all the trucks. We'll probably just be able to hold the rest of this truck and that'll be it.
guys, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we're going to go over to the other farm and shell corn over there. We've got a seed company taking a test plot off on that farm, so we'll try to do it while they're over there, so that way we can share trucks. Um, thanks for watching. If you want. Follow me on Instagram at Brian's Outdoor Videos or like us on Facebook at Brown Farms. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.